about this game. Um, I talked with, uh, well, first here, we're, we're here with central football coach, uh, or I guess interim football yes. coach, Jason uh, Keppel. Do I have yes. that right? Okay. That's right. After the Falcons. Oh, sorry. Lost my roster there. Oh, <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Yes. After the Falcons 49-7 to lost to Waterford tonight. Um, Jason, I talked with Coach Bakken, and, and he, he commended you guys um, in the sense that you had a lot of injuries, a little bit yeah. depleted. You know, they've been off for a month. So, yeah. it, you know, you probably knew it was going to be tough going against a physical Waterford team tonight. Yeah. Huh? No, they're good. They're running yeah. in conference champs. Yeah. So it's never going to be easy when yeah. you play them. Yeah. They're well coached. Uh, you know, it's not like it's a surprise what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and we'll make no excuses. Uh, we, we came into this game thinking we could play with them, and, sure. and we could. And, and for a little bit, we did. Yeah. Um, but we're probably not good enough to have turnovers and, and some mistakes. And, and even though we came in with a few injuries up front, we had a few during the game. Sure. And, and those are just tough. Yeah. So I, I'm really proud of what those kids did. They did what they were supposed to. They, everybody did what we asked them to. Yeah. And it wasn't good enough to yeah, I'm not going to say you were demoralized, but the point is they, they kind of, you know, an avalanche of points, they had a couple of fumbles, and I guess was there a little shell shock there? Bit, Maybe that's about it. A little bit. It started yeah. to happen pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <clears throat> when you've got guys in positions that they haven't been playing all season, I mean, we had a couple of freshmen in. They did a great job, but but that's a pretty long road to hoe when you've yeah. got uh, yeah. well, you got 27 points in the second quarter, yeah. I think is what it yeah, was. Yeah, it was, and, yeah. And coming back from that's pretty tough. Sure. Um, a, a couple of things, and in, in, you know, obviously we'll find out what's going on this weekend, but what do you think is going to happen next? Do you guys know? I mean, I know everything's caught up in the air with the terms of number of teams. Do you yeah. know what's going to happen? Don't know. Okay. Don't know. What, uh, will you, what Coach I guess I just, said will, is, hey, will you plan on playing yeah. if you're asking? Yeah. Okay. That's, it, it, I guess that's the main thing. I'll come out here with four kids if we have to. <laughs> yeah. so, um, okay. I, and I know we got a lot of kids that want to play. Um, we're turning things around, so yeah. every game is a plus for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. And if we get a chance to go play another game of football, um, they're they're precious. We will take it and be ready to go. Sure. If not, we're going to get back in the weight room and start getting ready for next season. No doubt. And then I, this is something I'll ask Jared about, too, next time I talk to him. But just playing seven games this year is a feat. I mean, really, there's not a lot of teams in the state right. that have played seven games. Um, you know, that speaks to, to, I guess, how you guys have followed protocols the kids listening and doing the right thing. Um, you know, do you take a second to, to talk to the kids and just commend them on just getting through the season? Jared, every day, yeah. reminds all of them that we go through the protocols, washing your hands, social distancing, <laughs> yeah. um, and the athletic director across the board. So that we knew that if we didn't do that, we couldn't play. Yes. And th that's the commitment that they had to make. Just It's just like going to the weight room. So if you want to be out here, you have to be smart about how you no treat doubt. your treat your hands your your face masks and all those things yeah so I, I am proud i told these kids down here all of them that are still here doing this really want to be here and, and that's a great thing anytime you put in the time as a coach to see that that's huge yeah no doubt different kind of year but good to just be out here all right thanks jason i Thank appreciate you. it